I chose to work with a class of 13 pupils who are referred to as the nurture class in our school. They require extra help with English and maths. We worked on a history project about the Romans. I organised the group into three distinct subgroups according to their ability. And then in the dream phase we talked about creating presentations using the iPads, but they could present them in any personalised way that they wished. In the explore phase we used books, we used the internet, we used resources that teachers had prepared for them from previous years and here you can see them putting into practice some of their learning by creating a Roman dining room. They had a lot of fun. In the map phase I chose to map out the project with the pupils using mind maps and storyboards. However we did this on paper as I'd found in the past that using the iPad sometimes slowed this process down. In the make phase, all team members had a personal role within their small group of three or four pupils working on the particular topics of food, army and entertainment. The food group made an iMovie, the army group made a keynote, whilst the final group working on entertainment used the app Book Creator. So guys, how are we going to share the information? Tell me what you're going to do. Well, you're going to go on the mail and then you're going to type the name in who you wanted to send it to and then you click on the cross at the top and then click watch photo you want to put in and then you send it to the person. For most Romans, meals were centred around corn, grain, oil and wine. I've had additional support in the classroom in the form of a learning support assistant who has helped with many of the aspects of helping the pupils to access the information and organise their thoughts. I've used an app called Shobi which has acted like a virtual learning environment to allow me to share personalised feedback with pupils, resources, allow the pupils to upload imagery for me to mark etc. I don't know that I would have been able to do the work that I've done without a facility like this. In the ask phase of the project I was lucky enough to be able to have the Head of Humanities review the children's work and then we were able to take them to Ribchester Roman Museum to meet the curator. There was little to remake as the projects were deemed to be quite thorough. People showed their work in the virtual environment of Shobi as other teachers are able to join my class and view the children's work. Data shows that the children achieved well in this project having initially had levels of three and four they were now achieving four and five. I can't say that this was entirely down to the iPad, but it definitely gave them confidence and gave children with low literacy levels the ability to access work that previously would have been denied them had they had to write everything down. Yeah.